Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do another dinosaur. Uh, uh, they're very famous. They're in Jurassic Park. I want to do a Velociraptor and I will show you how to do that from start to finish. And tonight we're, I'm going to show you how to reinforce that with aluminum wire in the sculpture business which we refer to it as an armature and this is the what the wire looks like that's the uh, that we'll be using tonight I'll show you the types of clay that you can use and there's an oil-based clay such as this which never hardens you can use this over and over again like I said in the past I used to use this when I was a little kid and I used to love using because once I get tired of the sculptures I just made something new Another type of clay that you can use, which you've uh, bought in the art store, is this air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight, and then it's great for painting, and you have a, your permanent sculpture. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it. You can make a tremendous amount of detail. And like tonight I mentioned the, the aluminum wire they'll be reinforcing the sculpture with the, uh, the, the when you fire that in the oven the or this clay in the oven it won't shrink which is good and I'll show you the size balls of clay we'll be using the first ball of clay here this is what we're going to be using for the base and then for the I'll do the large balls of clay first this ball here I want to use for the head. This ball right here, which you see here, this will be used for the body. These two balls of clay here will be used for the legs. Then these two smaller balls here will be used for the arms. And then I do have some small balls of clay here. I won't pick them all up, but See these three little balls here? These will be used to make the hand or the claws for the Velociraptor. And this, these balls of clay here will be used to make the feet on the Velociraptor. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make the body of the Velociraptor. So I'll show you what we're going to do is we're going to make this body right here, which you see right here, and I'll, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take the clay here and we're going to take this and then we're just going to work it squeeze it into a, like a potato like shape see that I'm taking and then you want to take and work this see I'm just taking that pulling it on it and working to make the tail see how we're doing that just like that do it just like that And then I'm going to squeeze this a little more. See, I did that? So we can create that shape of the body. And I'll show you. See how that's, how that's forming? I want to compare that to my other model in a minute. So we've got that. So I want to go back and compare that to the one I have here. It looks like it should be a little longer. So we're going to work on that and I'm going to try to make the tail a little longer right here. I'm going to work that a little bit. See how I'm squeezing that. You squeeze it from both sides. And then we just So we're starting to get that shape. So that's the, the basic shape that we want right now. And then another thing that I would like to do is see the top? I'm going to squeeze this like this. I'm pinching it so it makes a triangular shape. I'll try to show you from this side also. You just, it makes that, see how that looks now? Just like that. And we're going to do that right down the tail. Just like that. And that's the basic shape that we want. 
So I'm just going to compare that back to the Velociraptor again. It looks like, looks like he's, yep, it's about roughly the same size. So I'll show you, I'll, get my, I'll try to get my hand out of the way. You can kind of see that it's about the same length. You know, the, when you're doing this, the proportions, I'm just trying to teach you the techniques, and if the proportions are a little different, that doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that uh, I teach you, like, how to make the, the body, the arms, and the legs, and it, we can always make the better detail on them later. The next thing that I want to do now that we've made the body is I want to take and make this green base. See this right here? I'm going to show you how to do that. That's going to be very simple. What we've done in the past is I'm going to take and I'm going to press this down like this, just like that. And you're just going to take your thumbs, you can just kind of press like that. See how that, I'm, I'm working that? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that up and just kind of squeeze that like that. See, I'm squeezing it with my fingers. We're going to squeeze that like that. Make that nice little base. See how I did that? And what we're going to do is, as we've done in the past, I've got some tin foil over on the side here that I'm going to use. This can be bought like in the supermarket or CVS or one of those places and uh, just a basic household item. But what we're going to do now is we're going to tap this with the tin foil. See I'm doing that? And after I finish I'll show you what it should look like. See I'm just kind of dabbing it like that. It has a really nice texture when it's done. Just kind of work it like that and it's quick. So now I'll pick that up. See that really nice texture? By using that, it looks like the ground. So it's a, a very quick method. And I, now I would like to proceed to do the legs on the Velociraptor. And those are these legs right here. See these? And I'll show you how to do those. We're going to take this ball of clay here and I'm going to squeeze it. You can see I'm just I'm just going to squeeze it like that. See I'm squeeze it that way and then kind of pull it out a little bit. See I'm kind of making that shape right there. That's almost like the the knee right there. And then what we're going to do is going to kind of work this a little bit more and then I'm going to see I'm kind of putting a nice little bend in that. So now what I want to do is I want to compare it to this one here. It looks like we're about right on the size. See that? It's very similar. And I'll just, just work this a little bit more. And that's the shape that we want. See from the side? So you got like the, the little um, knee there. Then you have a little, another little bone protruding out here. And then this is going to be where we're going to make the foot. So what I will do is we have these three small balls of clay here. And I'm going to pick these up. And what we're going to do is, see I'm kind of rolling this? Make it almost into like a little log-like shape like this. See that? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take and make like a little point here. See how I'm squeezing that with my fingers? And I'm going to make the point of the claw. So you just keep going round and round. See how I just did that? that it's kind of small, but see that little claw? And then what I also like to do is I want to get a toothpick and I'm going to take the toothpick and go around it like this to create an indentation. Let's see, we'll see if we can see how I did that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this now and I'm going to put this, connect it like this. 
we're going to, this is going to be the center or the middle toe on the foot and then we're going to proceed to make the other two. And now I'm attaching the second one to the foot and now I'll proceed to attach the third one in this manner. See how we put that right there like that and you just kind of squeeze them together like that. See how I'm squeezing those together? And that's what the bottom will look like and then that's what it looked like from the top. And then the, you'll proceed to make the other leg in the same manner. And now that I have the legs done, I'm going to put wire in the body and in the legs. And I'll show you how we're going to proceed to do that. What we're going to do is take this aluminum wire, which is extremely flexible. See how easy this is to bend? Very easy. And I'm going to take this and we're going to put this inside the clay. But I have a couple of pliers. I got this set of pliers here. I like these because they get very fine points for the, the tweezers. And then this one here, I like this one here because it's, uh, it's a little, it has a thing that they can cut the actual wire. So what we're going to proceed to do is I'm going to take this and try to overlay it. I'm going to make it a little bit longer because the head the head will go here, so I want to have that for the head. And I'm going to cut it like right about here. And I'll show you how we're going to insert that into the, the, um, the body. So now we're going to take this, and I'm going to take the wire. See how I'm kind of overlaying the body? And we're going to press that in like that. See that? So I'm just going to kind of push that in a little bit. See how I'm taking and pressing that in? I want to press that in there like that. Because what this wire will do is provide structure. So when it's baking, the tail, if I put it in a certain uh, position, it will hold the tail in place and the body in place the way I want. What I'm going to do is, see how I put that in there? I'm going to take these right here now, and I want to push this into the clay a little bit. See I'm doing that, pushing that into the clay? Just like that. And I want to go all along the wire and, and push it in like that. Because I want to push that in. See I'm doing that? And then, and then what we'll do is almost think of like a hot dog roll. You take the and almost wrap the you wrap the clay back around the wire like that. See how I'm wrapping that around? Just like that. So now that, and we'll close that up. See how we can take the clay and go back over it? Just like that. That way it'll have some kind of And this will be very, very flexible. You see how we did that? It's all enclosed now. And now, see how I can just twist the tail and put it in any kind of position that I want. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to attach the legs. But what I want to do is I'm going to make this, I'm going to take the left leg, and I'm actually going to make it longer than the left leg. So you'll see here, I'm going to clip it right here, and it's actually going to be a little bit longer because at the bottom, I'll show you how we'll twist this so it'll be able to hold up the dinosaur. So we're going to, I'm going to take and I'm going to clip this, and then what I want to do is where this is going to be the inside of the leg. I want to take, see how we're pressing that in like that? Just like that. And I'm going to twist it a little bit. And we're just going to just push that, in, push that in. Just going to push that in like that. We're going to take our tweezers 
See that? And I can just push that in a little bit. Just like that. And we're going to wrap this around now. Just like that. See how I'm kind of covering that over? And we want to do that. Just like that. So now what I want to do is we're going to attach that to the side of the dinosaur. So we're going to attach that right about there. So we're going to take that and we're going to work that clay in. See, I'm now kind of working that in just like that. And we're working that leg in. So now what I want to do is see this on the bottom here? We're going to take, and we're going to put that, I'm twisting that, see I'm kind of putting under, underneath the foot. But what we're going to do is we're going to twist it a little bit. Let's see, see this? I'm going to show you how we're going to turn that a little bit like that. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that into the clay like that once I get the other leg on there. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the other leg. And now we'll attach the other leg now that we've done the exact same thing. And you see I'm just pinching that like that. And you pinch from both sides. And then what we want to do is now we can push this into the clay so you can see how I'm doing this see the now that we've made those I can push those down into the clay like that just like that you see now and another thing that we want to do is now, this claw usually is lift, extended a little bit. We'll lift that in the air a little bit. That one there. And we'll do the same thing on this claw here. So now what we can do is we can see how I'm doing that? And what we're going to do is we're going to take the clay and cover up those areas where we pushed in the wire so you don't even know it's there. See, I'm just taking and pushing this clay in here now. Just like that. And we'll proceed. See how the, 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 we can put the claw, the feet down a little more like that. And we can take, just tap that a little bit like that. See that? And see how this is it's standing on its own now. So it's really cool. The next thing that I want to do is I'll show you how to do the arms. And these, we'll take these, and I'm going to take and kind of pull these out like this. See that? I'm, I'm pulling that. And we do that. Gonna, let's see, but that's about right. So that's, see the arm's got a little bend in it. And then what I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to take these three balls of clay here, the down here, and I'm going to make the hand, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You take the ball of clay here like this. We're going to extend it out. Make the little claws. See I'm doing that? I'll show you an easy way to do this. We'll, we'll, we'll actually make all three little fingers with the claw. Like that. And I'll proceed to make the other two very quickly. See I'm taking this. See that? 
and then I'm making that little claw. Like that. And I'm going to make the third one. And I'll show you. It would be really cool. The other finger. And then you make that little claw at the end like that. Just like that. And now what I want to do is we'll take these three pieces. See this? And we're going to connect them together. See how I just put those two together? And then we'll take the third one. And we'll put that, I think I'll work that right there. See how the, they go right together? And we can take this, put little indentations for the claws, like that. See that? And I'll do a third one. And we'll do it from both sides. That way it shows you where the, cl the claw starts and stops. And then we'll take this hand and we're going to take and press this together with this arm. See that? I'm taking that. See that? Very cool way of putting it together. And now we're going to proceed. This is going to be the left arm and we'll do the right arm in the exact same manner and I'll show you we'll attach this right here right here whoops <laughs> I don't want to sometimes you do drop these things and we'll attach that right about there and then we can do that I'm going to do the other arm in the exact same manner. Okay, and now that we finished the second arm, I'm going to attach that. It was made in the exact same manner as the other one. And this is what the dinosaur looks like up to this point right now. It's pretty cool. Now you can see how, like when I made, at the beginning of my show, you can see the T-Rex and how he's standing and the tail is raised. You can understand now how the uh, the wire, aluminum wire, holds it up in that manner, and that enables it. To, it's almost like a skeleton of sorts. So now what I want to do is take the head, and I'm going to take part of this off, and for the lower jaw, and we're going to shape the head, which is this piece right here, right there. And I'll quickly show you how to put that together. Let's see, we're going to start to shape the head. See how I'm doing this? I'll show you the shape that we want. See how that I'm doing that? Just like that. That's what the top part of the, the head will look like so far. Just like that. And then what I want to proceed to do is make the lower jaw. So I'm going to put this down, pick this up, and we're going to make the lower jaw. See, I'm kind of making that triangular, just like that. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? And then on the bottom here, you're gonna we're gonna take our finger and almost make like a little indentation. Well, we can use the toothpick. We want to kind of almost make a little indentation in the bottom here. It's gonna roll a little, little bit because in the lower jaw like that, there's there's a, like a little indentation, and you can take your finger kind of poke it in there a little bit. And now what I want to do is see if this is when you put these together. See that how they. It's starting to come together. You can see the, the shape of the dinosaur head. And what we're going to do is I want to make, I'm going to get some clay and we're going to add a tongue. So I'm going to go over here, grab a little bit of clay, like this, 
And like I've done in the past, see this, I'm making the tongue, flatten it out, then make it kind of forked looking, just like that. See that? And then you take your toothpick and run it right down the center to create that line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the mouth. I'm going to curve it a little bit. See, I kind of give it that little curve. And we're going to put that in the mouth, just like that. But now what I want to do, too, is I want to take and kind of squeeze some of the clay that's around the jaw here. See, I'm kind of pulling that up. I'll show you. Squeeze. Just like that. It will be easier to show you on the, the upper jaw. See, I'm taking this squeezing like this. See, I'm, I'm kind of creating. This This is how we're going to create the teeth. So you take and just pinch it around the edges like that. And that's what we're going to do to make the teeth. And I'll show you, it's going to be a simpler method than we've done in the past. In the past, we've made individual teeth, but I want to show you how to do a quicker method. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and place these two together right here, just like that. And I'm going to work those together like that, just like that. And I do want to make the, I want to do the eyes next. See how we did that? And it'll really start together when you see the eyes. I'm going to grab some clay over here. And we'll take a little piece of clay like this. And I'll show you. Just like that. See that piece there? And we're going to take that and we're going to place that right about here. See how I did that right there? Right there. And just kind of work it in, just like that. And then I'm going to take a little piece of clay. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take and make a little eyeball. So just take a little piece of clay and make a, the, the tiniest little ball right here. See that? Very small. And now I'm going to proceed to pick up the dinosaur head. See, and I'm going to place it right there. See what I just did? I put it right there. And then we're going to make the lower eyelid. I'll put that down. And we'll make the lower eyelid. That's the lower eyelid. And we're going to place that right underneath. Like that. See why we did that? Really starting to come together now. And just taking, kind of squeeze that with your fingers, working it a little bit. And now we're going to proceed to make the nose. And I'll show you, we'll do that. Poke a hole here. Just like that. And now, on the right side of the face, we'll do the exact same thing. And now that we've completed the right-hand side, just the way, exact same way we did the left-hand side, we're now going to proceed to make the teeth. So what I'm going to do is, see this toothpick here? And we're just going to take and just make little indentations like this, where we had pulled that clay down a little bit. Make little indentations, just like that. And that's, that's how we'll make our teeth. And you're going to go all, all the way around on both sides. So I'll just show you very quickly. It's a very simple technique. And it's uh, very effective. Just like that. See how we're doing this? And you go all the way around.
when you paint it, you'll be able to really see the teeth. Right now, they're very small little indentations, but you'll see it'll all come together when it's painted. And now, now that we've done that, I want to take and also take on the head here, kind of pinch a couple of places here. See here? I'm going to pinch this up a little bit. See how we pinch that little piece there? I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the toothpick now and just kind of make little indentations like this. See how I'm doing that? And then we'll flip it to the other side and we'll make those just like that. Pretty cool way of doing it. And then we'll just add a little bit more clay. We'll use the additive technique. And I want to add a little more clay in the back here. See how I'm adding right there? And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the head. See this piece here? This, this protruding? Just kind of stick the head on there like that. And now we can work them together. Add a little more clay around the neck, just like that. We can build it up a little more. I want to add a little more clay here in the back. Just like that. And let me just check it now. Now what I'm going to do is I'll show you. We want to make little indentations across the neck like this. See how I'm just taking doing this? Make little indentations like this. Just make little squiggly lines. And then we'll do that exact same thing on the other side. You just kind of go like this, make little squiggly lines. And for the back of the head, I want to take this, and just kind of roll this back and forth, make little indentations like this. Just like that. See how cool that is? And then for the body, for the texture of everything, well, you want to smooth this out. Take your fingers and smooth it out. And then we're going to take this tin foil and kind of tap it to kind of give it the, the texture that we want. Just like that. And you're going to go all around the body like that. And then it will, once we've done that, it will be ready for firing. I'll do a little touch up here and there, and, but it's pretty much made the way it should be and it'll, we'll make it ready for firing and uh, it's a pretty cool little dinosaur. And now that we've fired the Velociraptor in the oven it's now ready to paint and I'll show you the colors that we will use to paint them. I'm going to use acrylic paints which can be bought in any art store. There's 18 in this package and I'll show you the colors that we'll use. We are going to use, there's almost like a tan color. We want to use black for the eyes, brown for the claws, white for the teeth and the underside, pink for the mouth, and green for the base. And I think that might be all the colors that we need. I just want to double check. See if there's anything that I missed color-wise. And it looks like that'll do for now. And then I'll show you the size brushes that we want to use. We want this size brush here, which is very small. I want to use this for the eye. Then for the 
teeth. This is a small brush. I want to use this one. It's got a nice point to it. For the body and the green base, we'll use this size brush here. And for the claws, we'll use this size right here. The first thing that I want to do is I want to paint the, the teeth, which are here, and do the underside. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to do take these paints here. Hold on, move these aside. We're going to start with the white. We're going to paint the underside. So what we're going to do is take the Velociraptor here and just kind of paint white under here. See, I'm just doing that. I'm going to paint the underside white. Just like that. I'll try to move the angle so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. See that? How we're painting that, the underside white? Just like that. And we'll also want to do that here, too. See how we're in the back here? We'll just paint the underside of the tail white. We'll go all the way up to the, the tip of the tail. And I, I know you see some little burn marks here. When it was in the toaster, it did get burned a little bit, but that's all right, because once we paint it, you won't be able to see that. So try, try to move this along smoothly to make a, like a straight line, like that. And you do the same to the other side. See how we got that? I flipped it. Just kind of go back and forth and just do that. I'm going to paint that, and we want to paint the other side here. Just like that. And then I'll try to get it here and kind of work it a little like that. You'll do the entire underside like that. And then what we want to do is we're going to paint the teeth. So the teeth here, we're going to do this. I'm just going to just dab it ever so slightly. See that? Then we'll do the same to the top. Just like that. See how that looks? And then we're going to go around and do the same thing on the other side. Just going to dab it a little bit. Just like that. See, I'm just going to touch on that ever so slightly. Just paint that. Now that we've got that done, I want to do the pink. We'll take this, dab this. Just be careful. See this? Now we're just going to dab the, the tongue. See that? Just go in there. Just be careful. Try not to get it on the, uh, the white teeth that you just did. Just get, get it from the side. See that? See how I just painted that? Now the next thing that we want to do is I think we'll do the um, the eyes. And we're just going to dab it with the black right here. See that? Just like that. And we'll proceed to go to the other side. And we'll do that. Just like that. And that's how we'll, we'll do the eyes. We do the, the nice green base. Now take this brush here. And now we're going to just see how you just take this, go back and forth, and just dab around the feet. 
you don't want to, we'll, we'll be painting those a different color in a minute. So, and you're just going to dab this. See, I'm painting the base. See how that is? Just like that. See, I just dab and go around. And then we'll proceed to do the back side. See that? Go back and forth. Just like that. Now, see the, the claws here? You want to paint those brown. So I'm just dabbing those like that. And then you, you put, want to work your way to the other side and do the back of the claws too. Right here, see right here? We'll do the same on the, this one here. See that? We'll do that. And you'll paint it all the way around. The other, the, the claws and the feet, we'll do the same thing. See how we just do this? Just paint it like that. And there's one little claw that's behind the foot here. We want to get that one also. See these? You want to get those. And then we'll paint these claws here. So you just kind of just dab them ever so slightly. See how we're doing that? And then I'll show you how to paint the rest of the body. Look at that. And now, see, I'm going to take this, this kind of paint. See how now we're covering up that burn mark? We're going to paint the entire Velociraptor that color. It looks like there's still a little green paint here, so I'm going to clean this off a little better. Sometimes that happens, you're painting and you're using the same brush, but it doesn't all, the paint doesn't all come out the way you want. So you just need to dab it again on the water. See how I'm doing this? So you just kind of work your way down like that. I'm going to paint the entire Velociraptor that color. See that, how I'm doing that? Just like that, I'm going to paint the neck. And then when you get up around where the, we did the teeth, just try to be careful not to hit what we had done. See how I'm doing that? So you just do it ever so slightly. And if you want, you can always get a smaller brush if you find that's easier. And you paint the Velociraptor in that manner. And I'll show you what it will look like when it's completed. The completed Velociraptor will actually look like this when it's complete. You see, we've got the nice black eyes. We've got the nice white, the pink for the tongue and the mouth, the white underside. I'll try to flip them so you can see. See how we did that? We have the brown claws, which you can see. See how that? Fit those nicely. We got the claws on the feet. And we got the nice tan color for the Velociraptor himself. And that's what he should look like when he's completed. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations and Clay today. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.